Joanna Luda here with Spotlight Radio. We're here live on location at one of the hottest events right now. you got to come on down. What are you waiting for? We're here at the Toronto's Festival of Beer. Joining me here is one of the owners, David O'Hare. He is one of the owners behind Brew Irish Craft Brewery. How you doing? I'm very good. I, I suppose hot is probably the, the key word there because I'm not used to this heat. Uh, it's very warm. It's not really conducive to having a, a big ginger beard. But uh, no, loving it. It's the first time in Canada, first time in Toronto. Uh, and it's great to have our beer pouring here. It's, it's, it's a little bit surreal almost, you know, something that we made in the Boyne Valley County Mead and it's all the way over here in Toronto and tasting just as great. Isn't it fantastic? We're expecting so many cool Canucks coming out today. International events, so many Canadians, so many international visitors. Let's talk about your brand okay. and let's talk about how it all started here with Brew Brewery. Okay, so um, there's, it, we started it about two years ago. Uh, there's three of us involved, uh, myself, Dara and Paddy. Um, I'm a microbiologist by trade, Darrow was a solicitor, a lawyer, and Paddy was a chemical engineer. So it was a sort of a great mix of skills, really. Uh, we, we did, I throw all the paperwork at Dara, you know, I sort of, Paddy helped set up the brewery and I sort of work with yeast and stuff like that. But um, I was working as a microbiologist for about sort of six years running clinical trials for pharmaceutical companies. And I had what I like to call my pre-life crisis where I said, right to hell with this, there's there's more than this, the, this sort of office nine to five. So packed it in, uh, grew a beard, uh, moved out to the countryside, and then uh, did a course over in London in the Institute of Brewing and Distilling, and then started brewing with the guys pretty much straight away. Uh, I would have known Dara through a rugby coach of mine, so, yeah. That's fantastic. So you guys have obviously taken a risk, taken a leap of faith, and you just did it. Let's talk about what are the top three beers right now that a Canadian should try right now to the, when they come to this, uh, to this event? Oh, well, I'm, I'm, our, our main one here and the one we have pouring is our Brew Rua. It's a it's a, a red ale, it's got a traditional Irish red ale malt base to it, but it's overlaid with some New World hops. It's, it's a beautiful beer. It got uh, nominated top 10 beers in the world 2013, came uh, eighth in a New York Times poll. Um, how that happened, I don't know, because we didn't enter it. A critic must have been passing through Ireland and picked, a, picked up a bottle, but it's, a, it's an award that we're very proud of. But so we have that beer pouring here in draft and a few accounts across the city. Um, so that would have to be my number one recommendation. Uh, then just in the Irish Pavilion here, there's some other great beers. Uh, like the, the, the White Hag uh, guys have a, have a beautiful sort of imperial stout. Sort of it's, it's a higher ABV though, it's 10%. You wouldn't drink too much of it. So, David, let's talk about, you know, catering to the females out there. So, I don't mind. I love beer. Okay, let me tell you that. But the thing is, is that I like beer, but beer that's sweet. What would you recommend to our listeners that are kind of like that? Not a little bit of a diva, but they like that kind of like sweet stuff. What would you recommend? Yeah, well, there's actually <laughs> quite a few cider producers here. Um, that, and I suppose that's probably the way to go. And there's probably some fruit beers as well. But um, but ours is all good. Like, it's it's all natural. We, we have no chemicals, additives, or preservatives in our beer. So yeah, that's good to see you that way. And there's a little bit of sweetness in there as well. Right, David. But out of your brand, what would you suggest? So if I were to sample and sample one of your beers right yeah. now, yeah. and I want something sweet, what would you recommend to me? Well, probably our IPA has got a little bit of sweetness in it. You know, it's 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 nice. You know, um, we have a stout as well. It's kind of dry, but uh, yeah, if you want to have a bit of sweetness, maybe maybe the pale ale or the IPA. Yeah, I yeah. like that. So last question. So you're an entrepreneur. You took a risk. You did it. You're living the life. You're doing a good job at it. You're here in Toronto. Yeah. Give us one piece of advice to our listeners if they wanted to get into being their own boss. Well, listen. Fear is a crippling thing. Uh, and once you get over that and just take a chance, like the worst that could have happened was that it failed, it didn't work, and I go back to the same old job I was doing. You know, but, but fear sort of paralyzes people and stops them doing these things. Take a chance, you get one life, why not? You know, roll the dice. Works, it does, all well and good. If it doesn't, just go back to what you were doing. You know, just taking that risk. If you take that initial step, you'll be fine. And then you, the, the worst thing you can have is what if, you know. That's a horrible way to have a horrible thing to have hanging over you later on in life to say, oh, what if, what if? No, just take a chance. Beautiful. Thank you so much, yeah. David. A pleasure.